Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So this is the third episode in my Smart Bite series. If you've been following along on this, you'll see uh, kind of like the format that these go. Um, basically, these are uh, short videos, kind of around about the five minute mark, uh, just to give you the, uh, the, the, the basics, the grounding on a particular topic of uh, Home Assistant. And in this video, I'm gonna be going through helpers. So what are helpers then? Well, I think it's fair to say these are quite an important part of Home Assistant and it probably won't be long before you start to need to use one of these and you realize the huge benefit they actually bring to your smart home. Um, there's a whole range of helpers available. Uh, you know, you can see some of them on the screen here. You've got buttons, you've got drop downs, uh, you can do things like averages, uh, you can group things together, a whole whole range of different uh, options available. And um, you know, I've got a number of these that I use within my smart home. So, um, you know, things like grouping my light bulbs together, uh, averaging out my uh, temperatures, uh, stuff like that. And so they can be really powerful if you use them appropriately in your smart home. So to create a helper in Home Assistant, you click on your settings and then devices and services. And then there's a tab at the top of the screen uh, called helpers, click on that. And then you've got a button in the bottom right hand corner called create helper. So you just click on that and then you'll get a pop-up displayed asking you what type of helper you want to create. Now, as I said earlier, there are a whole host of different helpers you can create, uh, including one which is a template as well. So that's something where you can pretty much freehand define what you want yourself. Uh, you know, a lot of the others are um, already templated out for you. So they're just asking for the individual parameters specific to that helper that you're trying to create. So I'll just quickly show you how to create a helper that will give you the average of some temperature sensors that you've got in your house. If you want to find out what the average temperature is around your entire house, if you've got temperature sensors in all your rooms, you can then use this particular helper to do that. So if I click on create helper and um, I'm gonna to need to select the min max helper and we'll, we'll give it a name. So then it's wanting to know the input entity. So uh, if I just look at um, my different temperature sensors that I've got available, uh, so I've got a dining room temperature sensor, I've got a lounge, I've got an office, I've got a hallway. So if, you know, if I select one of those, it's then asking me for another one that I want to be part of this. Um, so, um, you know, if I add in the dining and then if I put in, uh, another one as well, if I put in say like the kitchen one, and then, uh, it then wants to, uh, you know, what is the kind of like the calculation, the statistic that's going to be used on this. Uh, so I'm going to, um, mean these, uh, you know, I want the average and I'll have it to, uh, two decimal places. Um, so you can obviously change that if you want. Uh, but I'm going to have that to two decimal places and uh, there you go if I just click on finish uh, and I've now got a test temperature uh, um, helper so basically I can go and add this information now onto uh, you know one of my cards on my dashboard to be able to see the average temperature around my house so there you go so that's a relatively simple uh, helper to do with average temperatures. Uh, hopefully that gives you a bit of a taster as to what helpers can do and how they could be useful for you within your smart home. Definitely worth diving into these yourself and reading up the documentation as to how each of these all work. You know, if you're gonna be using the energy dashboard and you've got smart plugs, for example, um, you know, you are almost certainly gonna to have to set something up here in order to do some conversions. Um, but yeah, you know, it's not complicated. These are, you know, these are called helpers for a reason and, um, you know, they will make your life an awful lot easier within Home Assistant. So there you go. That is helpers within Home Assistant. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, you know, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, uh, you know, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Uh, certainly if you are wanting to follow along in this series, I would highly recommend you um, turn on the notification icon as well so that you get informed of when the next video in this series drops on the channel. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.